So glad you could join us today in the hot seat. We're looking at the brand new Kiwi's KTIW02 thermal imaging camera. Oh, yes. And a big shout out to Kiwi's. Thanks so much for sending in the KTIW02 for this review. Here we go. What a good looking camera. Man, oh man. This is sort of the top of the line right now from Kiwi. It's the KTI W02. Feels amazing in the hand. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, look at that case. Look at that case that it ships with. Nice hard case with some netting and of course some little uh, odds and ends that it ships with. We'll get into that in a minute, but I'm just saying this is a really solid case. And what I like about it too, you've got that molding, so it is shaped for the camera. So it's really, really gonna protect it uh, from all those bumps. And hey, you know what? Thermal cameras can be hypersensitive to all sorts of bumps and bangs. So having a case like this is a good thing. You get a charging cable USB-C, the USB-A, as well as your charging adapter with your North American plug right here. So everything you need to get started included. Kiwi's also gives us a really nice user manual as well. Um, the certificate of authenticity, all that good stuff. Manual also includes a lot of color picks as well, giving a good indicator of the uh, completeness that you're getting. So lots of information, lots of instructs. Um, as always, you know, the best way to use a tool, uh, we'll learn to use the tools just by, by using it, but still nice to have uh, a guide to go back to uh, when you need some help. Turning it on for the first time, really quick to boot. Check it out. Bada boom, bada bing. Greeted with the Kiwi's logo, and that is it. L literally seconds, a couple of seconds before you are in like Flynn. Man, oh man, look at that. Now you've all sorts of modes. Generally speaking, it's just a good feeling meter. Feels a little more robust than their uh, KTI W01, uh, the previous incarnation. Uh, has a really nice solid feel uh, looks professional and i gotta say i like how they've incorporated the the overall look and feel we even get a nice tripod mount here underneath uh, i believe that's a quarter inch so if you want to screw it onto a tripod do some standalone thermal imaging you certainly can nice soft touch buttons as well one two three four very simple to operate as you'll soon find out uh just a really really nice unit as I previously mentioned, you do have that tripod mount, and boy, does that come in handy. Uh, check it out. Here it is right now, just sitting there, uh, ready for your thermal imaging pleasure. Man, it is really nice when these things come with those mounts, because you never know when you need an extra set of hands. Because I'm not an octopus, you know? Here we are at the main menu screen. Uh, we have our gallery. That's where it stores all of the pictures. We have our temperature range. We have our emissivity, and that's kind of an important one because that sort of dictates what you are getting a thermal image from. Everything has a different emissivity. Um, if you're doing something that's really finite, you might want to check what that emissivity rating is. By default, it usually sits around 0.98 to 0 0.80 with most cameras, but yeah, it's uh, definitely an important setting. We have palette as well. Can change from color to everything this one is just loaded we have a center point if you want that little center uh coming up when you're doing your temperatures temperature unit of course as well do you want to have it in celsius or in fahrenheit totally up to you roim measure alarm reference measure distance distance unit auto shut down screen brightness and you can have a laser as well you can have a laser yeah, so what does it mean by having a laser? Well, let's just invoke that. Put it on laser mode and you'll see in a second how we're gonna actually have a laser pointer uh, as we're thermal imaging. As well, we could have a flight, floodlight, uh, date and time, language, reset if you wanna set everything back to factory defaults, format your SD card, uh, yeah, on and on. So a lot of functionality here in this unit. So as I was mentioning, we have that laser pointer now, functionality, and check it out, check it out. There it is. So if you wanna have a finite reading on a certain spot, boy, you can get right down to 
the nitty gritty. This is what you depress to take those pictures. Now, we do not get video with the KTI W02. It does not do video, strictly uh, images. That's it, that's all. So that might be a letdown for some, um, but that's the way it is. Over here, we have our red uh, laser LED, as well as just a standard LED to give us some brightness. And of course, we have the sensor itself uh, and the main camera. So all in all, nice tight well made i mean this thing is just so well made it's very well done definitely at the professional grade and at the top of the unit we have that usb-c slot for charging as well as the sd card holder a while back i reviewed the kti w01 right there and uh well there you go that's what it looks like on the inside here is a mini teardown I will not be tearing down the KTI W02 because I don't want to screw it up. Um, but here we are. Definitely a bigger overall display on the W01, as you can see. Uh, I'd say probably twice as large as the uh, W02. Um, but yeah, look at that. Look at that. Let me take that off. All right, so I just unscrewed it here. And lo and behold, that's what it looks like on the other side. You can see at the bottom we have a button cell that's probably to retain your settings uh, if everything goes wonky. So good idea when it does power down, power off, and it runs out of juice, you're not going to lose your settings. Very cool. You know, just like your computer at home, here we have our DDR RAM. This is a 4 gig DDR3 SD RAM chip from Hynix. And uh, I would assume that the same DDR RAM or something similar is inside our KTI W02. Now, once again, I can't be sure exactly, but here in the KTI W01, we've got that all-winner A33. This is a, uh, um, a SOC or, or a Cortex A7 ARM CPU, uh, GPU 2, uh, wow, quad-core, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, so that is the brains of the unit. Here we have the tiny sensor as well via that ribbon cable over here. Um, yeah, so telling you, very cool tech in these thermal cameras. Now let's get back to the uh, KTI W02. Once again, 256 by 192 IR resolution. So it is very, very good in terms of that graphic quality. 25 hertz refresh rate. And oh yeah, I peeled off that nice plastic overlay because I would never hear the end of it. But uh, there it is, really solid, nice, crisp. Gorgeous looking display. Once again, very, very rich color wise. I like how Kai Wheats has uh, designed this unit. Something else that's really cool is literally switch of your thumb and you can switch to your different thermal imaging modes. I really like this one. This one really works for me. Look at the detail here. Uh, very, very cool. But uh, hey, to each his own. And uh, you do have a lot of variety with this thermal camera. Closing thoughts on the Kiwi's KTI W02. Oh, yes, this one is definitely worth your dinero. It's a darn good thermal camera, very well made, professional grade. This thing is solid, feels good in the hand. It could definitely take a beating. 
That being said, it does not do a video. For me, it's kind of a downer, but if video is not 100% necessary for you, you will be stellarly amazed by the quality of the images. Those viewable molds are amazing, and I'm telling you, the, the, the actual quality of the image, the graphic image, is some of the best I've seen yet. Price-wise, it's right up there with uh, the majority of thermal cameras, handhelds, around 200, 250 US, depending on where and when. Of course, you're always gonna find a better deal. In fact, I'm gonna have a coupon code in the description so you can save some precious dollars. But end of the day, I think it is relatively uh, a good deal, fairly priced, and like I said, the quality of those images is stellar. Do I have anything bad to say? Not really. I mean, you've got that laser pointer. You've got all sorts of nice little accoutrement that makes this thermal camera a notch above. Can we get temperatures from as low as minus 20 all the way up to over 500 degrees Celsius? That's just crazy. And don't get me started. Uh, one second boot up. This thing is uber, uber fast. No, really, the only downside for me is the fact that we don't get video. But hey, end of the day, if it's not a game changer, you want this. The battery lasts a long, long time. I only charged it once and man, it's still lasting and that is just awesome. The KTI W02 from Kiwitz gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. What a great camera. What a solid product from Kiwitz. And thanks again, Kiwitz, for sending it in for this review. Hey, hope you enjoy this one. Plenty more coming. Oh, you don't know how much more is coming. I have more things to review than the Pope has crosses. Is that even possible? I don't Thanks for watching, everybody. Till the next one. Keep on testing.